I spent 50 days with Anastasia in Greenland. It was a fantastic experience. It was also pretty scary because of, uh, because of the situation with the crevasse that she fell into. I knew also that this was the last part of my 18 month long experience. Now I only had two weeks left until I could fulfill my expedition pole to pole. The problem here was that Anastasia, she had to go back because she had other engagements. So she had to go back and I was totally alone for, for some time. So I was traversing through the crevasses and then all the way up to 82 degrees. During this time, I got stuck in small crevasses. I got stuck in, in melted ice. But my biggest problem was that I was so tired. I didn't have any strength left. I didn't have any motivation left. My only motivation was soon I will reach my goal. But you see, the problem here was almost like a mountain. When I was going to reach up to 82 degrees, I had to go back all the way down to Tula Air Base to fly home. So this was like a mountain. Because normally when you go to the North Pole, you go to the North Pole, then somebody picks you up and you fly out. Now it was almost like, you know, the good old days when you have to ski to a place and then you have to ski back. For me, um, reaching the 82 degrees was absolutely fantastic. And to see, you know, you started to see the place when, I, when me and Harald was going from the North Pole down to Greenland and then turning around. I started to see that area. I started to recognize kind of, you know, the mountains in the horizon. I started to realize that this is kind of where I were like one and a half year ago when I started my expedition going from the North Pole to the South Pole. So now I've closed the circle between North Pole and the South Pole. It's been back and forward. It's been a lot of mistakes. It's been a lot of of struggling and fighting and decisions and choices and failure and succeeding. But at least I did everything that I could to do it as well as possible. So what is success? What is, uh, what is succeeding? I think that it's, it's very personal. I think that it's, um, it's a question of um, how do you see success? What do you see? There are people that are never seeing success. It doesn't really matter if they are successful. They always see themselves as failures because there's always somebody else who's better. But there will always be somebody else who's better the whole time. But we have to remember that we are all perfect. We're seven billion people. They are exceptional. We are good. We are good at what we do. We just have to find our strength, find our happiness within ourselves. And what I did during these 18 months is that I found a lot um, about who I am. I found out a lot about other people, but most of all, I understand that everything is possible. Well, a journalist once asked me about what is the most important skill to have as an explorer. And I say to be flexible and to have new options, new choices all the time. And now we are standing in, in front of a new option here to uh, take the, the empty the, the sleds and put our on our backpacks and walk through the glacier step because this is beginning to get too dangerous. We are thinking about getting the sleds over this one, but it's uh, steep on both sides and if the sled falls down, almost 100 kilos will drag us down and we will not be able to make that. So probably we will have to take the backpacks now and walk through this mess of ice. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this, but I think that's the only option. Well. <clears throat> it's uh, Monday today and I'm lying in the tent waiting for the wind to get better so uh, now I'm just gonna try to relax a little bit and then tomorrow I hopefully uh, will be uh, moving on a little bit more I'm a little bit tired a little bit sunburned a little bit of everything 18 months of adventure has been um, oh my god I'm so tired but uh, soon I will be home and a uh, few more weeks to go and uh, we go up to 82.5 approximately uh, to the Lincoln Sea uh, where I was going to head when I was going for the North Pole. So that's kind of my uh, last step on this uh, long, long adventure between the North Pole and the South Pole. When I started on the North Pole, I had no idea what I was going to experience during pole to pole. When I was going to Mount Everest, for example, I kind of knew what I was going to experience, but 
I was totally wrong. When I was going to kayak from Stockholm to Africa, I thought I knew what I was going to experience, but I had no idea. Now at least I've learned that I have no idea. So why even plan for something if you don't know what you're going to experience? I only know that it's a, it's a possibility of getting from the North Pole to the South Pole. I know that it's possible to do it. I don't know how and I don't know in what way. Now I know if I would do it again, how I would have done it. But now I know at least that it's possible. Starting from the North Pole and then going all the way down through the heavy ice, falling into like you know the, the melted ice into the sea, uh, struggling with, the, with, with all the small icebergs, uh, climbing over the ice, going all the way down to Greenland and then being forced to turn around to Canada and then going through Canada, biking, North America, biking, meeting Carl Robert, going all the way down to, to Mexico, going through the deserts, uh, getting heat struck, being tired, um, ending up in hospitals and then going all the way down, you know, Central America and then being forced at the end of Central America, you know, and go all the way down to Antarctica, going from Antarctica over like, you know, over the plateau, dragging the sled up for 17 days all the way up to the plateau and then go 2,400 kilometers for almost 50 days to the South Pole, going back again, biking uh, the beautiful uh, salt lakes of, of Bolivia, going up the mountains in Ecuador, down the Amazon, and then all the way down Patagonia, and then sailing over with the uh, whales, with the dolphins, and then uh, penguins, all the way down to Antarctica again, going up to to, to Greenland and, and you know with Anastasia and fighting in the crevasses, uh, fighting uh, with the ice conditions, uh, with the melted sea ice, and then all the way up to 82 degrees and back again and fighting your way all the way down and then sit here today and you made it. That is an experience that I really, it's really hard to explain because it's, um, it's really hard to get the feeling um, of what I have experienced. Looking back at pole to pole, I can only say that everything is possible. The impossible just takes a little bit more time.